<laughs> well, listen, I've had another request here. I've had another request. There's, um, it's quite a fine balance, you know. Standing over here. Very, very careful. Here's a song called The Troubles of Aaron. Been requested by, you know, I mean. In 1994, I went to... I went over to Ireland, took Pat and the kids over to Ireland for holiday. Looking back at it now, in retrospect, I should have took my own family. <laughs> but while we were over there, while we were over there, the first IRA ceasefire was announced and it was brilliant. It was, it was like a big cloud being lifted. It was a one of those rare occasions where you're in the right place at the right time. And I put pen to paper and all this. Now the background, my family background, to give you a, a clue to this troubles of air and so on. Uh, my father is an English Protestant Methodist from North Yorkshire. Right? My mother's family are Irish Catholics from County Mayo in the west of Ireland. And my mother often used to say of my father that there was madness in his Methodism. <laughs> now, <coughs> My father used to get his own back by telling everybody, especially when I was writing sort of environmentally friendly songs and everybody was going a bit green and cleaning up the fuel in their cars and what have you. Uh, my dad used to tell everybody that my mother swore blind that a catalytic converter was an Irish missionary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Yeah, I wrote, I wrote this one. I've, I've always, uh, in the 60s, I used to go hitchhiking around Ireland looking for old folk songs and that. Before the big troubles of 1969. And, and, uh, and I, I love the place. I love it. It's a wonderful place. So I've been there. Uh, I know the history from the songs. And I uh, wrote this, The Troubles of Air. And here you go. Thanks again. <laughs> May the troubles of Aaron be over. May the bubble of peace be preserved. May the white dove inspire the children of Ireland. Peace is the least they deserve. Civil rights marchers were battered with clubs to the ground. And the very first body to lay down his body and part with his soul for the crown.
tragedy of any skill When a bomb broke the heart of the town And that elderly man oh, held out his hand To the killer who cut his girl down